नमस्ते जय श्री कृष्णा वेलकम टू आवर एटीन सेशन ऑफ सेल्फ डिस्कवरी एंड सेल्फ अवेकनिंग थ्रू द टीचिंग्स ऑफ भगवत गीता एंड मेडिटेशन एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर ज्वाइनिंग आई एम सत्या कालरा फाउंडर ऑफ पार्थ टू आनंदम सेल्फ ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन कोच मेडिटेशन कोच एंड यूर होस्ट फॉर द प्रोग्राम टूडे फॉर ऑल दीज एटीन सेशन एंड हैप्पी टू ऑल ऑफ यू हैप्पी गीता जयंती मंथ वी आर स्टिल सेलिब्रेटिंग गीता जयंती सो एंड थैंक यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग विद दिस ब्लिसफुल जर्नी एंड सेंडिंग यूर लव एंड यूर हार्ट and please invite your loved ones your friends so they do not miss out this golden opportunity as i always say please send me your questions and today we got a beautiful question the question is that in all of my sessions i end with meditation why is that and i'm sure you must be wondering as well so thank you very much for joining i'm so honored and today we are going to speak more about meditation though during this 18 sessions today is the session 12 and in previous 11 sessions we have been speaking about how to experience your inner happiness peace anandam and raise your conscious level subconscious level your conscious level where you can truly feel who i who am i i am satchit ananda so going beyond confusions miseries and we spoke in the previous session how to balance our life and today we are speaking about how to to do the meditation to reach your ultimate your infinite potential your true self as i mentioned gita is to awaken our guru it is a step by step path tools it provides so many tools to uplift our self and it's today's session it's going to be about 20 minutes and we will be discussing what is meditation how can we do meditation what are the benefits and what are the barriers to do meditation so let me ask you a question do you experience the difficulties doing meditation please write down your questions to me so i can answer and also if i cannot answer it now then i will address your questions in some of these sessions so please send me your questions you can send your question to satya at path to anandam.org or info at path to anandam.org or you can actually send into these comments in facebook comments or youtube comments and i will address that maybe not today but in the following sessions so what is gita what does gita say about bhagavad gita and meditation so bhagavad gita is a spiritual guide to self discipline and meditation is a guide to discipline our mind 
control our monkey mind purify our mind you know if you just look at meditation how does it sound meditation medi is more referred to mind station station so stationing the mind focusing the mind at certain spot certain place is called meditation that's why you here now it is so many different type of meditation it's called relaxation meditation calming meditation walking talking speaking yoga nidra means uh, sleeping with the meditation during the night and you name it there is a rejuvenation meditation there is a healing meditation so for every activity nowadays you hear about meditation but what is the basic meditation do basic meditation and i'm going to basically addressing all these questions from the book my question and god's answers this is one of my best seller on but on amazon among the other 15 best sellers and this book has been utilized in many universities it has been taught in many universities used in many courses like uh, course of ethics etc and it talks about meditation talks about as i said about disciplining our mind while we talk about mind because meditation basically is the symbolizes the mind some people say controlling the mind some people say calming the mind but basically it is more related to mind why what is meditation talks about mind or has a impact on mind or people talk about mind because mind is the one which is uncontrollable it moves with the speed of wind and that's where arjun asked lord krishna that you are talking about or you are teaching me how to meditate and focus on you and for live in the sub in the consciousness of divinity or through lord krishna how can i do that my mind is moving like a speed of the wind the wavelength of the wind i cannot control it and imagine don't we all have that same experience that our mind is so chanchal it's very difficult to control so arjuna asked that question because what bhagavad gita is the divine conversation dialogue between lord krishna and his friend arjuna so arjuna asked that question that i cannot concentrate please help me to guide me how to concentrate and lord krishna says yes i agree mind is very difficult to control but you can focus on me so when we sit for the meditation what happens all the previous thoughts unwanted thoughts uninvited thoughts bombard our head and as soon as we close our eyes and start paying the attention the more thoughts comes and that's where the question comes how can i concentrate so mind why mind because mind has three parts conscious mind which i'm talking to you right now and you are listening to me this is conscious is going to your present mind which is a conscious mind but after 10 minutes or after a little while that message goes deeper 
and the other message comes on. So the current message goes to our conscious mind. But whatever goes underneath, it goes to the subconscious mind. It's below the conscious mind. And the subconscious mind has a lot of memories, a lot of our previous sanskaras, previous thoughts. Anything happened to us, it is in the memory. And that memory bank is called the subconscious mind. So that subconscious mind, which is, has so many thoughts, when we sit for meditation, all of a sudden, uninvited, whatever is going on in our mind, the thoughts keep bombarding our mind. And that's why meditation is called the self-transformation process. Because through calming our mind, we bring the new information and it whether takes it out or reduces the previous information, basically substitution. So we are substituting the infer current uh, past information with the current information. And when we do that, then our previous memories start disappearing because they are being replaced with new information. And during meditation, when we sit and we meditate, which we will be talking about how to meditate, then the old information gets substituted with the new information. And the more and more we replace it, and more we go into the meditation, and more we go into our conscious mind, conscious mind and subconscious mind, then our past hurts, anxieties, also the current anxieties, stress, hurts, resentments, all little by little, as it says in Bhagavad Gita, shanai shanai. To start disappearing it. So, what we're talking about the meditation, what is the purpose of meditation? The purpose of meditation to remove all our, our negativity and fill our mind with the positivity where we can experience our true nature, Satchit Ananda, happiness, peace. Ananda, and experience that love, that peace within us. So meditation is a self-transformation tool. And in chapter 6, Bhagavad Gita, which says Dhyan Yoga, it speaks about what is meditation, how to do the meditation, what are the barriers and what are the benefits? So it says, Bhagavad Gita says that when we go deeper into our mind, when our mind comes down through meditation, we can clearly see and feel like a lake, when the, there is a calm lake, no dirt, we can see all the way down into the bottom. Similarly, when our mind is clear, we can go deeper and deeper within ourselves and experience and realize who we are because we totally connect ourselves with, uh, within ourselves our body, our mind gets connected with our soul. And that's where the body, mind and soul gets connected. So meditation 
what does meditation do it leads to the serenity of mind and during the meditation we go to that conscious level and when we are at calm the thoughts come at the conscious level the changes make it takes place at the conscious subconscious level then they start reflecting into our daily behaviors this is how the we can change our habits through the meditation also with through affirmations and meditation and as i said there are many different type of meditations but the best meditation is when we focus on the divinity on god so what does meditation do what are the benefits of meditation meditation helps us to focus give us the creativity connect us in deep relaxation we, when we go to into deep relaxation we have, we cultivate we awaken our healing power within our self and we can also communicate with god and when we are calm we experience at the physical level our blood pressure goes down we are less stressed we are our immune system gets stronger our endocrine systems start healing so all of our thyroid like thyroid glands pituitary glands pineal glands adrenal glands thymus glands they all start working properly and start producing the proper hormones and biochemicals in our body which are needed so it balances our mood also and increases our health immune system it also helps with our emotions our anger we become anger free worry free less the all these things start reducing and then we become more and more aware of our self so it purifies our mind our heart and it gives us the healthy body healthy mind and reduces the toxins in our body reduces our negative emotions and then we are more connected within our self that's where it calls the connection of body mind soul and it gives us the healthy body healthy mind and connection to our supreme soul and of course we experience love peace and ananda so let me ask you at this point do you have any questions please write it down and could you please also put it in the comment section that where are you logging on from where are you watching me from i know some of them i could see from your name many of you are from india some of them are from australia paris usa and so please just tell me where are you uh, and i want to say namaste to all of you and welcome you again and hello to our everybody and jai shri krishna to all of you i'm just reading all of your names so if you don't have a question then i am going to ask the questions and with the take a notebook and a pen and write it down because i always recommend to bring a notebook and pen and write down that what are your barriers to meditation because in bhagavad gita it says that people who are more stressed they cannot sit and meditate if their life is not balanced as as we spoke about in previous session that imbalanced life causes many anxieties and diseases therefore in gita it lord krishna says we must balance our life yukta ahar viharasya yukta chatasya karmasu 
in other words whatever we eat whatever we entertain work and also yukt swapna bodhasya when we sleep so enough sleep enough eating food enough uh, working not over working in other words not being workaholic or food alcoholic or alcoholic or anything has to be in balance then we can practice yoga then we can practice meditation so balancing life is a prerequisition for meditation and that's how we are rested or we are less stress so then we can sit down and we can meditate so the question here is what prevents me to do meditation what are my barriers to do meditation and as gita says one must certainly bring back the mind because many times people ask i cannot meditate even during the meditate my mind keep wandering and lord krishna says of course your mind is going to wander but by practicing just bring it back just focus it abhyasa practice it so and other thing is what are the areas i want to improve upon or what are the areas i want to benefit from meditation which are the areas because meditation you can meditate on any area and improve yourself but ultimate meditation is to meditate on divine and when we meditate on divine then we are connected with god so how to meditate as i mentioned chapter 6 which is called dhyan yoga which is called the path of discipline and meditation the union with god union with self through meditation and self purification through meditation so what are the techniques what are the tips what are the methods are suggested in bhagavad gita so we should sit down and focus on that because today i will be taking you step by step how to do the meditation so one should always sit comfortably wherever you are close your eyes very gently and i might open my eyes during this just to show you but very gently close your eyes as long as you are not driving or operating any machinery and then take a deep breath all the way down to your stomach but lord krishna recommends that we should also look at on the tip of the nose and what he really means is tip of the nose means we should focus on our breath because breath is the one which controls the thoughts so take a deep breath focus on your nostrils and with focusing on the breath go all the way down to your stomach like imagine the breath is your boat you are sitting on the boat right in, and then you are traveling with it so focus on your nostril or your breath go all the way down to your stomach hold it for few seconds exhale inhale exhale inhale hold it exhale 
and now breathe normally. But continue to focus on your breath. And today, we are going to recite the Om Mantra three times because that's what Lord Krishna recommends. He says, Om Iti Aksharam Brahma. Means Om is the another name of God, the formless God, which has no form like Krishna, Rama, Durga, it's just a formless. And that's why you always hear the Om in front of every mantra. So we will recite Om three times. And if you can, recite with me. Take a deep breath. Om. And make sure your back, your shoulders, your neck, your head are all aligned into one line. And make sure the place you are sitting is clean and quiet because that's what Lord Krishna recommends that sit in a quiet place, in a clean place, but make sure you are comfortable. That is the key. We must be very, very comfortable. And now, continue to focus on the breath and feel that the energy from Om Mantra and the breath are filling the every cell of our lungs. And from lungs, it's traveling to heart with the bloodstream. and enriching every part of our body from heart to chest to lower part of our stomach to thighs to legs, ankles, feet, all the way down to our toes and also the upper part of the stomach. The chest area is enriching with the Anandamai Shakti of Om, the Divine Shakti of Om, the Divine Energy. Cultivated from Om Mantra in each breath, enriching our shoulders, all the way back to our spine area, to the lower back, upper back, middle back.
and moving up to our neck, a region, to jaws, cheeks, ears, eyes, forehead. And now focus on the middle of your forehead between the eyebrows with the Om Mantra. And feel the crown area of the head. You might be experiencing some vibration there. Feel that every cell of your body, every DNA of your body, every genes, every nucleotide in the body, empty spaces, electrons, protons, atoms, are all enriched with calm, serene, pure, anandamayi shakti. Feel the calmness in mind. And focus of the mind on Om Mantra. And the heart. The thymus gland adjacent to heart. Feel that my blood pressure is normal. My immune system is strong. All the toxins in my body are dissolving. All the negative anger, resentment, hatred, guilt, doubts, fear, all are dissolving. Feel, I am fearless. I am very free. I am anger free. I have full faith in myself and Almighty. I am creative. I am self-satisfied. My heart is filled with love and compassion. I am humble, honest, I speak the truth. I focus
I am stress free. The lactic acid in my body is reduced. The cortisol in my body is reduced. And I'm stress free. All the valves in my heart are opened. My HDL and LDL are normal. All the biochemical reagents in my body are balanced. My entire body is healed. I'm connected. My body and mind are connected with soul, with supreme power, almighty God. I'm connected with God. Om Shanti 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 Peace for my body, peace for my mind, and peace for the universe. May God bless us all. And now rub your hands, which are full of divine energy, healing energy. Massage your head your face, your entire body. And then massage again, rub your hands, make it cups and put it on your eyes and open your eyes very gently. Namaste. So mantra for today is Om Mantra. Or we can also say, I meditate. That mantra. Om, I meditate. Any mantra, anything you want to, any affirmation want, you want to give it to, you just put Om in front of that and just say, Om, meditate. I meditate. Just keep saying, I meditate, I meditate. And you will start meditating. So I want to so what is the action and what is the practice? Sometimes question comes to me, when should I meditate? Where should I meditate? And as Lord Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, as long as the place is clean, comfortable, and hopefully it is quiet, then it's easy to meditate. And when to meditate? Any time, but ideally first thing in the morning, and if during lunch time you can meditate at night before going to bed, even if you don't have much time, just for five minutes is enough. So the action and practice for the session is meditate. Practice meditating because. As Swami Chidanandji says, the meditation is the best medication for all the agitations. And I said, meditation is for all the medication. Or meditation is the medication for all the miseries in life, whether they are physically, they are emotionally, 
whatever they are. So I want to read to you a poem from my book again, as I mentioned. This is a book I'm going to share to you. So I'm going to read it, a poem uh, from this book. And it says, meditation is the way to discipline the mind. Meditation is the way to calm the mind. Meditation is the pathway to eliminate anger, pathway to lower the blood pressure, pathway to get rid of the old habits. This is how we transform ourselves. It is a way to communicate. During the meditation, we are calm so we can communicate with God. We can go within ourselves and merge with God. This is a path to nirvana, path to healthy, happy, and peaceful life, happiness, life, and the union of body, mind, and soul. So I just want to summarize it quickly that there are seven secrets of meditation. So meditation is not a quick fix. You must have a lot of patience, and it's a gradual process, but you will get it. Do it even for five minutes, but make sure you do it daily. Sit comfortably and straight. And be consistent. And if you can sit at the same place, that helps to bring the same vibrations. And also pay attention to your body. And learn to let go. Many things happen in our life. Just learn to let go. So just meditate. That is the action. And our next session, in a couple of days, we will get together again. And please, if you need any of my books, then they are available on Amazon. So you can go to Amazon.com under my name, Satya Kalra. And please invite your friends. And also subscribe to our YouTube channel because we put our new videos there, almost two to three videos a week. So we want to make sure that you are not deprived from those videos. And also like our Facebook page, the new page, which is Path Facebook Path to Ananda. So because uh, our this main page is almost full with the 5,000 audience. We won't be able to do, uh, accommodate more audience. So please uh, subscribe to our um, Facebook channel. And also, if you have any question, please send me the questions. And I also do private sessions for counseling as well as teaching meditation in Path to Anandam, we give workshops, etc. And all the books we sell or all the donations which come to Path to Anandam, 100% we give it and share with the homeless people and also support the students and needy families. So whatever you feel comfortable, you are welcome to join us anyway. But this is the best way that you are joining us. So thank you very much. And thank you again for joining. God bless us all. Namaste and Jai Shri Krishna.